Hey everybody, I'm so excited that you're here. This week I have in store for you a cute little studio vlog. I just had to do a bunch of different things for my small business so I have taken you guys along with me. I really hope you enjoy the video and if you haven't been here before, my name is Carly and I really hope you enjoy this vlog. It's cute and fun and that's all. See ya! inspired and I was even just like making a lot of mistakes when I was working on stuff so that's part of the reason why I haven't really been around on YouTube for a second but slowly but surely we're like getting back into it I kind of took a break and I was just working on customs and just crocheting I feel like switching between art forms can be really helpful for me so that my brain is like kind of fresh anyway I've got one custom left which is so exciting and I'm gonna get that one done this week but otherwise that gives me a lot of room to just get back into playing which apparently is like the most amazing thing for me <laughs> so this dress is that and I drew the plan for this dress like a month ago and my vision for it is just stuff everywhere I want it to feel like a three-dimensional um, piece with lots of, I guess, like bits and bobs all over it, tulle, beads, sequins, ribbons. I just wanted to feel like as magical as a dress can feel. I've got basically no parameters as to what that is going to look like, but we'll find out together. this this is my favorite way to gather fabric if it doesn't have to be a precise amount you can just turn your tension all the way up my tension on the industrial looks like this but yours might be like one to nine and on the top of your domestic if you have a domestic I'm gonna put my tension up put your stitch length as long as it can go and then you just grab this top thread threads up here for my industrial machine so before it goes through all of the mechanisms I'm just going to pinch it up here and that adds even extra tension and it's going to gather the fabric automatically so yeah I put my tension all the way up my stitch length up and I'm just going to pinch as I sew and like that's a little bit too gathered for me so I'm just going to take my tension down until I'm happy with how it looks it's actually gathering really nicely without the pinch so I might do that Usually I would just sew this tear straight on and then just be chill about wherever the prints were but I want to have control of where I place each patchwork print. One day your overlock could just be chilling and then the next day they wake up and they straight up just choose violence for no reason. It working again. time so probably need to add another four tears. <laughs> I think this project's bigger than I expected it to be but hopefully it'll be worth it.
Well, I just ended up adding two more tiers onto this dress. <laughs> it's crazy. I think that the bottom tier is at least probably 15 meters. I reckon at this stage, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to stop doing this now and just do a tiny bit of work on my last custom before I head out to do some errands. This is the last tool overlay that I have to make and I'm so excited. I don't know how many I've made this year, at least 10, which I know doesn't sound like much, but they just take so long to make and they're like quite fiddly pieces. So every time I finish one, it feels like I just ran a marathon. I'm grateful for my customs. I'm so grateful, but I'm excited to work on whatever is in my brain. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. I'm just about to crack into work for the day. I think my plan is to just crack on with this dress in the background and I want to add a few more tiers. It would be awesome to get to the length that I want it to be, but I'm not sure, it's taking a long time. I'm also just going to spend a little bit of time working on my tool custom um, and maybe we'll do some crocheting. We will see. I'm not sure how much I'm going to film because I think visually it's really similar to what I was doing yesterday, but that's okay. Let's do it. the heck at the moment all of my siblings live out of home so it's just me and my parents so i've kind of set up little stations in each of their rooms where i just have like some of my art supplies my brother moved out um last weekend and so i just put his tv there and a chair here so I can crochet and watch TV, which was like, when I used to live out of home, that was my favorite thing in the world. Like that exact setup was just so perfect. I could sit there for hours and hours and hours on end and just crochet. And I just haven't been able to replicate that vibe. So that's what this room is. And then my little sister's room, I have all of my fabric scraps, the t-shirt press, and yarn because when everything was in my room it was starting to just be like an overflowing mountain of fabric and it was just <laughs> my room was just my bed my sewing machines and just fabric everywhere and it didn't ever really bother me but there definitely was a turning point where I was like there is no there's no like end of the day feeling like my room is just, <laughs> it's full to the brim with stuff. And I just feel like I could constantly be creating, but now I have like a little bit more of a boundary in the end of the day, I like clean up and I put my ironing board back and it kind of feels like a bedroom. 
again, which I think has been really good for my brain. My big box of t-shirts just arrived. I love that the ribbing is so thick on the collar. It feels so like kind of unique and special to wear. I don't know, they're cool. That's good. So I can print these now and send off orders to people, hopefully today or tomorrow. I've just been working on my custom today and my jumper, which I'm crocheting at the moment. But I had this idea in my head for a while now for when these t-shirts arrived. And I really want to try it. I just want to give them a good solid upcycle. I'm cutting off the sleeves. I mean, I'm a bit scared, but I'm cutting off the sleeves. I want to add a bunch of patchworky kind of things on it with like a message at the front, maybe embroidered and big puff sleeves. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but it's just, it's my vision. I totally just cut that sleeve with no pattern. <laughs> Hopefully it looks good. <laughs> together my sleeves really quick and I just wanted to tell you about something that I love doing so much called I think it's called batch sewing and basically if you don't know it you just sew your piece and like back stitch and everything but instead of lifting the needle the foot and trimming your threads and then starting again you just get your next thing these are my sleeves you feed it right next to the other piece like this and you continue sewing. I'll get a better angle. So you can see here, I finished my sleeve. I just did a few stitches in between both with nothing underneath it, which technically is not good for your machine, but I don't care enough to not do it because it's so good. And then you just back stitch and you start sewing. And it just cuts out the fuss of having to like stop in between every piece. It's not really going to save you much time, but if you're working on a quilt or something where you've got a lot of sewing to do, batch sewing is the way. I have this fabric, these tiny teddy bears. I cut it out and I'm going to put it on the shirt. <laughs> this is the worst view ever. Like this. Good morning. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. I finished my shirt. It's all done. I'm really excited about it. The sleeves are really cute. And I hand stitched this teddy bear and the scrap on, which I just feel like gives it this cute homemade kind of vibe. Um, it was so extra of me because it took like an hour and a half to stitch on, but I feel like like that's cute, right? Anyway, I'm shooting pictures for my website today so that I can list this shirt and hopefully someone will want to buy it. What's next on my agenda is packaging up my other t-shirts, which were like my merch line that I did with my boyfriend. Um, he designed this beautiful print and we've been printing those on the side. So I'm going to print those with my t-shirt press and package them up. Hopefully get them to the post office today. I also need to do some work on my custom, which is coming along, and add one tier to my fairy wedding dress, which is what I'm calling the dress that I was making at the beginning of this video. 
I think that one's nearly done. I think we need to add one or maybe two tiers and then the base of it's done. Then I can start adding like the tulle and ribbons and beads, which is my intention. So yeah, just got like a lot of little bits. My room is barely big enough to show you this, but I added one more tier to my fairy princess wedding dress. She's cool. I think we need to take it one more. One more to the floor. Right? I think I'm going to do it, so don't tell me. Don't tell me if you wanted me to stop now. Because <laughs> I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm not. <sighs> we can. Oh my gosh. That's pretty. but it's a different angle, it's punched in. Where are you? Yeah. That when that money be happened, I'm mad. Yeah, it's trapped. Did other YouTubers say that about the point of the angle? Is it because you're not looking to the gears looking at me? Delectable. You know, to learn about a cherry. That's all. finished packaging all of my parcels doesn't look like much but it really does take time anyway i'm gonna run these to the post office and i'm gonna sign off for the day and i'll see you in a sec that is all for the vlog this week it's friday i am tired i am gonna just have a really chill day maybe just editing this vlog that's so meta but whatever i appreciate you being here so much i hope that it was fun to watch and I'll be back with more tutorial content soon. But until then, let me know what projects all of you creatives are working on in the comments. I love seeing what you're all sewing, crocheting, knitting away on. So let me know. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it. Let's be friends. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a really wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.